a bit more nervous about doing peer-to-peer -peer file sharing or, or, or connecting and taking stuff down. But it is a much bigger issue, you know, if, if for example, you pick up your, uh, your, your, your presentation and just stuck it up somewhere else without any form of credit to you or anything that upset you, it, that, that to takes me, a lot to upset me, not just mm -hmm. yeah, that, but <laughs> that's it, it, it is like it's like with the newspaper lifting a lifting a story out of yeah. the newspaper and sticking it on there. It seems to be that that sort of area people are going to fall foul to because they just don't think about it. Absolutely. Whereas I think with the big file sharing stuff, you sort of know you shouldn't be doing it. Mm. Um, yeah. But I, but I spoke to some friends the other day who who claimed to have joined some. I, I think it was a Russian website that sold copyrighted music. In the, and they were buying, so they were buying hit music for next to nothing, you know, mm. a few pence per track. And I was left saying, well, you know, you, you, there's almost bound to be a breach of the contract. They're almost bound not to have the right to sell it in this country. Yeah. Um, but they didn't see that. No. They could see no problem. They were paying for it. And you mm. sort of wonder then, you know, where, where you're getting into that. Mm. And, and because, because what you get is a letter out of the blue and you know nothing about it, mm. uh, how much people challenge you and how much therefore people cut off doing things they don't really know they're doing that are wrong, rather than, yeah, I'm stealing this, uh, this the latest movie because it's not released yet. In that website that I, that I put a screenshot up of, that um, calls itself Legal P2P, yeah. there's a Q&A yeah. page, you click on the back, and one of the questions is, is this legal? And the answer is, yes. Next question. Just say, they just say, yes, that's all. You know, there's no explanation. <laughs> uh, so it's no, it's not <laughs> This is a really simple question. I'm sorry if I've missed it already. Is it only peer to peer that this this covers, or no. does it cover? So it covers other type of copyright for stuff yeah. that's available on the internet. Absolutely. So, yeah. so as small businesses, yeah. how can they? How I'm thinking of it from the other point of view, actually, from the the, the point of view of small businesses yeah. who feel that they might have copyright infringement yes. through the internet. How do how do they access it, and how do they how does it affect the way that they protect their copyrights? Okay, I mean, copyright, going back to what I said earlier, has existed for a long time. And people, by and large, respect it, you know, it takes effort to create something. Um, and the remedies for protecting one's copyright uh, have existed for a long time. If someone infringes it, if you go to court, you sue them. It's as simple as that. That's, as I said, it's been around for decades, centuries, or the process has changed, the principle is, is, is long standing. Um, what this new legislation does is basically introduce a new type of remedy, which is this disconnection or reduction of bandwidth and so on and so forth. Now again, anyone who has copyright that they think has been infringed is entitled to do that. But you have to put in place the, the method by which you could track what had been done. Uh, and the, the big media groups are already dealing with to do this. They know what they're doing all the time. But there's been nothing to stop anybody to take advantage of it if they thought their copyright would be broken. They could say, I've seen this somewhere, um, I'm going to write to the ISP and I want them to send one of these warning letters to someone who's done it. So, you know, that kind of thing might start happening. Um, will it? I don't know. Wait and see, I guess. Uh, sorry. <coughs> Are there any groups where perhaps smaller, say, artists or um, small businesses come together to, to work together? I'm thinking, is it fact, Federation? Federation is software theft. Copyright theft is the one that I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Is, are there any groups that are sort of acting for smaller individuals, maybe smaller companies? I, 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 I think power? there are. Um, I don't have a list with me, right. but I can certainly have that. Yeah. Acid, that's the one. That's the one I was thinking Which one is that? Acid. Acid, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, we've got lots of questions. <laughs> the question at the back here, we haven't had a question. Um, is the onus on getting permission and license for? Or is it really a matter of <coughs> complaints? So everybody who's currently got somebody else's logo on their website, they don't have to go back and say, give us some permission to use it. Or is it just going to be left to complaint? Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, the big providers there, the ISP providers, then taking responsibility is really interfering, isn't it? How's that going to happen? It's really sort of interfering. interfering. It's like, do you wait for somebody to complain that you're using my logo or you're using my code? Using video. The short answer is most people at the present time simply wait for someone to complain. Yeah. It's, uh, 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 the point was made earlier, people tend to know when they're breaking the law in a bad way, you know, if they're downloading a the whole movie. But many people can borrow a logo or clip something off a website, they just do it. Um, unless the terms and conditions of that website give you permission to do that, you're going to read those terms and get some legal advice on them, 
beforehand, this is where I tell you folks, um, unless you do that, you are potentially in breach of the copyright, and this whole mechanism could click into place and, and come crashing down on you. And then if, if somebody currently has a load of logos and, and information and quotes or um, on the website, do they have to go back? Is it, is it wise to go back and say to everybody, we're assuming permission at this point? Or? Um, there are rules on fair use in copyright. So I could, for example, quote a small paragraph or some, some words or a paragraph or two from an article for certain purposes, for criticism and comparison and analysis and so on. That is permitted. So if, if, you, were to, if you were using somebody else's creative work, in a, in, a, in a way that copyright law allows you know, one of the permitted acts, then you wouldn't be uh, in breach. But if you were simply <coughs> borrowing a logo, putting it on your website, well, without their permission, already, potentially, already, even without this new law, you are in breach of copyright. And so the decision has to be, is that something that the copyright holder has objected to so far? Are they aware of it? You know, if they're aware of it and they haven't objected so far, chances are you, you, know, you, you won't be doing anything about it. Because many people like, don't mind their logos being used. Some of them put my logo, our firm's logo, anywhere they want. Like, it's great, it's free advertising. You know. Please put my logo on all of your websites and say something nice. <laughs> I bet I can find something. Hmm? I bet I can find something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does it does any of this affect uh, copyright holders to go by the normal channels to complete, uh, claim some sort of compensation if someone has ripped you off. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think I've taken photos before and found them, I've put them on my website, I've put a copyright thing in the file so that yes. you know, they'd have to physically cut it off. And then I've found that they've done that and used it on another website. Yes. Now, what this legislation seems to be saying is that, in theory, that I could apply to have that person cut off, yeah. which is one, might stop them doing it again, but it might not stop the fact that they've actually taken advantage of my copyright. Yes. Presumably I still have every right to go after them and claim whatever I want for, for, for the use that they did of the unauthorised use of that. So none, so none of that's changed, has it? None of that's changed. They, these rights are concurrent. This is a new remedy that doesn't extinguish the old remedies. Okay, but take, take me through a, so let's take that scenario, okay? So I've taken a photo, I've put it on my website, um, and somebody has ripped me off. They just used it for whatever. Yeah. What, how, what, what's going to be the process? What's it going to cost me? What's what going to be the time scales? What's, how would I go about claiming, claiming that that person did that and you know, I think they should be cut off? How would I actually physically do that as an individual as opposed to I don't know, Sony or something like that? Is it, is it something I could do easily? Um, I know it's easy because you'd have to find out which, which ISP they used. But the whole point is this is focused via ISPs. But if you could find out which internet service provider uh, they used to actually rip off your work. Um, you could, uh, under the code, you need to read the detail in the code of the draft code of practice, you could write to uh, that internet service provider and say, this person used your service to steal something of mine in breach of my copyright. I want you to send them the first warning letter. Did, does, does the crime happen at the point where they copy it via their ISP or at the point to which they upload it? Is, is the hosting provider the person I could go after? If I find my photo on someone else's website, mm. can I go after the hosting provider or do I have to go by the ISP they use to do the copying? Even though it's both. Uh, mm. if, if someone takes your photo and uses it without your permission, um, anyone who participates in that, uh, it's simply by copying it uh, and reposting it, is in breach of your copyright. You, you could chase them under conventional law anyways. But the new act gives new remedies to copyright lawyers. Presumably the significant thing that for half cut them off is the fact that they could identify that person to me. Yes. I mean, actually, if somebody's actually had that doing, that's, I don't care whether they get cut off or not, but being able to actually confront them seems to be <laughs> the most, more useful thing, and then I can take the normal channels to challenge them. Yeah. But also quite a scary thing, I guess, because mm. depending on the circumstances, mm. I think it goes back to people actually knowing who you are maybe where to be able to identify you and somebody being accused of something that actually you know you've got the wrong end of the stick and you be somebody being attacked it could go really bad it's the enforcement that's yeah. scary isn't it it's like who, 